congratulations to Intuitive Machines, which is the first private enterprise to land on the moon. And for as long as the solar panels work, where do you think they got their information? Well, we're going to show you how it lasted so long on its side. Would you like to take an interactive virtual tour of this spacecraft or this spacecraft or this spacecraft or even this spacecraft? Well, stay till the end and we'll show you how. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we're going to go back to the surface of the moon to look at an experiment that was more for engineering than for science. And what the great thing about this experiment, or this engineering experiment, was that it helped with further projects that are being used today, like uh, Intuitive Machines IM1. And it is the lunar dust detector. And that is on the central station. Now, for those of you who are Patreon users, we're going to go into in depth on how the lunar dust detector, uh, the data from that was used on the IM-1 that landed on the moon last week. But for now, if you click on the lunar dust detector right here, it takes you to the lunar dust detector page and you can see this is this small unit right here is the lunar dust detector and it is on the central unit and as you can see um, the lunar dust detector measured the amount of dust accumulating on the lunar surface which translated into solar illumination detected by the solar cells it also measured the damage to solar cells by high energy radiation as well as reflected infrared energy and temperatures on a lunar surface. It consists, consisted of three photocells molded, mo, mounted on the central station. So if you come down to the schematics, we look at the unit here, and this is it with solar cell one, two, and three on the top of the unit. Then we have inner temperature with some super insulation, then outer, outer temperature measured on uh, the outside. And that was to get all the information that they needed for the engineering experiment. And now for those who are Patre on our Patreon page, uh, first of all, thank you. We are going to go in depth of what uh, that meant to uh, the IM1 or the Intuitive Machines company and their landing on the moon. So if we click on normal operations, that's all for this week. If you would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon, just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.